Good morning, Yusim. Happy Monday. With the Super Bowl right around the corner, we'll be covering some awesome appetizers you can make that are sure to please all your guests. More after our top stories. The, the first edition of Spartan Express is now published. You can find the website by looking up esmschools.org backslash Spartan Express. This journalism website features new stories written by students here at ESM. It contains different sorts of articles like editorials, informational pieces, reviews, and more. Currently, they've got pieces up like a news article about the Kazakhstan protest and reviews on the show New Girl and Kid Cudi's Man on the Moon, The End of the Day. They also have two editorials up at the moment about political divide and greed. There's also face the Faces of ESM section where the school journalists interview students for their very own article. In that section, they have got articles on Mr. Ezzo and Junior Margaret Matting. That's not all, though. They have a lot of great stuff coming up that will be published the first Friday of every month. If you'd like to nominate a student for an interview, add original artwork, or give suggestions and feedback, you can contact them using their email, spartanexpress at esmschools.org. So go check them out and enjoy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are many different Super Bowl appetizers out there, and I asked some teachers and students here some of their favorites. Chicken wings. Mm, um, a pretzel. Ooh, so, um, oh, um, chicken wings, yes. Some um, chicken wings, a nice pretzel with some cheese on it. Um. Hey, my favorite Super Bowl appetizer are nachos. Can't go wrong with nachos. The best watching the game, gotta love them. Nachos. I would definitely say uh, chicken wing dip. I'd say the best appetizer has to be wings. There's so many different varieties of wings, and no matter what, you can't go wrong with eating wings. I think mine is probably buffalo chicken wing dip. Yeah, same. actually, <laughs> not gonna lie, that's my, my favorite all time Super Bowl appetizer or any dinner is artichoke dip. I like it even without the crackers. Just give me the spoon and the bucket of artichoke dip. Some easy recipes you can make include chicken wing dip, hot crab dip pigs in a blanket, artichoke dip, and loaded potato skins. You can find all of these recipes on delish.com. Speaking of serving up appetizers, let's see what the weather will be serving us this week. Today, as you can see, there's nothing really happening, so we're gonna have a lot of clear skies throughout the day with some clouds here and there. Now, on to the seven days. Monday is gonna have a high of 39 and a low of 22. Tuesday is gonna be very similar today and it's gonna keep a trend of being very warm, but as the week progresses into the weekend, it'll drop down to a low of eight degrees and start to get colder. With that. I'm Grayson with your weather. So these Super Bowl recipes are great and all, but it's important to put the cost into consideration. I asked Ms. Mock, baking, Mrs. Mock, banking and finance teacher here at ESM, about why food prices are so high. And the main takeaway is people are paying higher prices and charging higher prices. And Christian Bogman's an economist at the International Monterey Fund, said two years, there's the chicken wing dip, two years later, global demand for food remains strong, but higher fuel prices and shipping costs, along with other supply chain bottlenecks like a shortage of truck drivers, and shipping containers continue to push up prices. And also during the pandemic, there was like, during when we didn't have schools and there was no school, farmers had to dump all their milk and that also contributed to it. According to the Labor Bureau of Statistics, food prices rose 6.3% in December compared to a year ago, while the price of meat, poultry, fish, and eggs jumped to 12.5%. Let's head on over to sports.
Congrats to Jonas Osterley, Kaylee Maloof, and Laura Sinek for winning Athlete of the Week. Jonas was one of the top scorers for the FM Ice Hockey team, having multiple hat trick games this season. Kaylee helped lead the girls' track team to second place in sectionals, winning the 55 hurdles and advancing to state qualifiers. Laura Sitnik ranks first on the team in aces with 38 and second in both digs with 124 and kills with 101. Syracuse men's basketball team beat Louisville 92-63 on Saturday. Buddy Bayheim and Jesse Edwards led the team with 19 points each, and it was also the largest attended game in, this, in the college basketball season this far, so far this year with 23,298 attendants. The current rankings after day three of the 2022 Winter Olympics is the Russian Olympic Committee with six medals, Netherlands and Norway tied with four medals, and so far the U.S. has three medals. Three men from upstate New York are competing in the Luge event. They're Johnny Gustafsson, Chris Madzler, and Sean Hollander. New Orleans running back Alvin Kamara was arrested yesterday after the Pro Bowl on a battery charge. On Saturday, the girls volleyball team won the first sectional game against Utica Proctor 3-0. Margaret Madling had 10 kills and Natalie Peterson had 28 assists and Laura Sinek had 6 digs and Morgan Ransom had 5 digs. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, ESM, we hope you make these awesome appetizers for the Super Bowl. They're great to bring to a party or for sharing with friends and family. From me, Emily, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Monday and an awesome week.